Okay, guys, real quick, I know it's getting old, but just part three, just to recap a few things, and then I'll be over this, don't worry, I'm not making any more about uh, things that I feel are strange, right? This has forced me to reflect back on <clears throat> my past and... Um, you know, how I, even though voluntarily, still ended up in those places because I was no angel by any means. And, uh, and, uh, it's just tough, um, and embarrassing, frankly, to, uh, to remember things you prefer not to remember, uh, Things you wish you could redo, but there's nothing you can do. You can't change it now. And I know it's really bad to dwell on the past, but thinking about this subject and uh, it just kind of forced me to do so. Um, a couple of things I remember. And first of all, I, I want to clarify, um, this isn't limited to evangelical Protestant type uh, beliefs. I wanted to say that there have been evangelical churches, Baptist churches that I loved very much, that I felt the presence of God in, and uh, really great people. So I'm not uh, trying to sit here and say that uh, this, this entire segment of people or denomination is like that because I'm not because uh, there's a lot of bigotry and weird things going on with orthodoxy uh, you know part of my family being of the Russian Orthodox faith and the monastery that I had my experience in was a Greek Orthodox monastery my mom is Russian Orthodox and in the Orthodox faith there is real racism. Um, I know that's a hot subject today, and but when I say real, I mean real bigotry and hatred towards people of a myriad of colors. Um, and this is very overt often and not covert at all. Um, it's kind of sickening and weird. Um, I've seen it firsthand. And um, it's uh, something that's just mind-blowing to me. And uh, not just towards uh, people of color. I've heard uh, negative things, very negative things said about Jewish people in the Orthodox faith. I've heard very negative things said about evangelical and Protestants in the Orthodox faith. In fact, I clearly remember one time I was asked to do a confession simply because I was going to an evangelical church at the time, just for going there. No other reason. You see, the priest uh, sat me down and gave me this lengthy discussion about how their denomination is wrong. And his denomination is the only true, only true Christ one, right? Out of registered 11,000 denominations. His is the right one that I'm aware of, <laughs> which is an absurd number. How many disagreements there are is just ridiculous. How things are supposed to be done, etc. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, one more thing. I <laughs> will never forget. Uh, sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm going to, I'm not going to redo the video. I know that's weird, but it just fell. Okay. Just keep going. I'm going to be done shortly. Um, I remember one time someone was uh, doing a sermon. And so in Oregon, this place was an international ministry. 
and uh, they did a lot of good things. They did a lot of really good things. Uh, I just wanted to mention that as well. Um, but uh, the most, one of the most bizarre things I've ever heard in my life it was a short, scrawny man up there talking about his international ministry, how they would go to other countries and start these missions or whatever. And he was talking about Bangladesh. And I've been sponsoring a child in Bangladesh for the past three years, by the way. So I do know a little bit about that country. Um, and he's up there and he's like describing the poverty and the terrible conditions people are living in. And uh, people defecating in the street and uh, um, crippled people begging and bliss and that and this. All these really disheartening and sad truths and the reality of that particular place. And then he's like, I felt bad for them because they're living so terribly. But I feel even worse because I know they're going to hell forever. And I, I, my eyes almost rolled out of my head. I was like, and he said it with a smile. He said it with a smile, like a big smile. And I'm like, wonderful. So you wish upon these people hell and life and hell and death. Seems legit to me. I'll let you reflect on that one.